Hello! Welcome back everyone! And sa video ito, aalamin natin kung ano ang kahulugan ng arithmetic means. At magsasagot na rin tayo ng mga problems tungkol sa arithmetic sequences at series. Kaya, abangan ninyo, tapusin ninyo yung video kasi meron akong ibibigay na formula na hindi kadalasang tinuturo sa class. So, magsimula tayo sa kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic means. So, ito yung definition niya. So, another vocabulary for us. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin tanggapin to. So, unawain muna natin siya. So, if you have this arithmetic sequence, whose first term is A, tapos sa pagitan nila ay C1, C2, C3, up to CK. So, you have K terms. And then, you have your last term, B. So, yan yung arithmetic sequence natin. Then, itong mga numbers sa pagitan, yung C1, C2, up to CK. So, yan yung tinatawag nating K, arithmetic means between A and B. So, for example, in this arithmetic sequence, okay, verify muna natin na arithmetic sequence ito. O, nag-add ka ng 3, nag-add ka ng 3, nag-add ka ng 3. Okay? So, nag-add ka ng... Uh, fixed constant to get the next term. So, that is an arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, itong nasa pagitan na to, ito yung tinatawag nating ilan sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We call them the 5 arithmetic means between 2 and 2 and 20. So, yun yung meaning niya. Okay? So, pang-unlock lang ng terms ito. So, try naman tayo ng mga examples. Gawin natin tong example na ito involving arithmetic means. So, yung question, insert 3 arithmetic means between 12 and 20. So, ano yung sinasabi ng problem? Sinasabi niya, uh, maghahanap ka ng 3 numbers na itago natin sa C1, C2, C3 such that yung 12, C1, C2, C3 and 20 forms an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so arithmetic sequence na dapat iyan pag pinasok mo yung tatlo. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng insert 3 arithmetic means between 12 and 20. So kapag meron kang arithmetic sequence, very important yung common difference D. Recall natin yung formula natin for arithmetic sequence. At dalawa lang naman, uh, you have this and yung recursive formula, an is an minus 1 plus d. Uh, pero useful ito kapag ang terms na involve ay magkatabi. So ito useful kahit magkalayo yung terms. Or if you have the first term and meron kang other term. And in our case, Ito yung useful kasi you have the first term. So, our a sub 1 is 12. So, ang hahanapin natin si d. And 20 is a sub 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, okay. Then, plug in natin dito. You get a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1. plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so ito yung titignan nyo pala. Oops, hindi ko pala sinu dapat sinulat ko na na 5. Okay, so para madali ninyong matandaan yung formula, ganito yung ginagawa ko para matandaan ko siya. You see this a, 1 equal, a sub n equal to a sub 1. Dapat yung nandito, yung difference ng subscript. So n minus 1. And then you multiply that by d. And then plug in natin yung mga values na. So, 20 is equal to 12 plus 4D. So, 20 minus 12 is 4D or 8 is 4D. So, D is 8 over 4 or yung common difference mo daw ay 2. Pag may common difference ka na, powerful ka na sa arithmetic sequence. 
Okay? Kasi from the first term, pwede kang mag-add ng mag-add na lang ng D. At makukuha mo na sunod-sunod yung mga yung mga arithmetic means mo. And in this case, C1 is equal to yung first term 12 plus 2 plus yung common difference which is 14. So, 2 plus D is 14. Si C2 naman, C1 plus D, but you know that C1 is 14, plus D equal to 16. C3 is C2 plus D, sabi dito, C2, dagdagan mo ng D, you get C3. So, magiging, ang C2 natin ay 16, ang D natin ay 2, which is 18. So, ang sagot dapat ay, 14, 16, 18. So, magkakasunod. So, yan yung 3 arithmetic means between 12 and 20. So, proceed na tayo dun sa mga susunod nating examples. Uh, hindi na to related sa arithmetic means but uh, arithmetic sequence in series na in general. We have this very interesting example. So, the ninth term of an arithmetic sequence is 28. And the 21st term is 100. What is the 15th element? So in this case, binigay yung dalawang terms nung arithmetic sequence natin. Ito na yung sinasabi kong formula na hindi naman din discuss sa class. But for me personally, uh, feeling ko useful siya. At hindi naman siya ganun kahirap tandaan. So, uh, eto segue muna tayo. So, if AN... And AM are terms of an arithmetic sequence. So, dito, not necessarily mas malaki si N kay M. Okay, walang restriction dun sa N tsaka sa M. So, kung gagamitin natin yung formula natin, A sub N is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Diba yun yung formula natin? So, kailangan yung subscript product nito times D. At kung gagawin ko rin yung kay M, AM is equal to A1 plus M minus 1 times D. Yung N pinalitan ko lang ng M. So basically, same lang uh, na formula yan. And what happens if we subtract the two equations? So AN minus AM is equal to a1 minus A1, magka-cancel na yon, And then, this minus this. So, N minus 1 times D minus M minus 1 times D. So, simplify lang natin yung right hand side. You get N D minus D. Then, distribute lang natin. Ito, distribute natin. Tapos, distribute din natin yung negative. You get minus M D plus D. So, yung magka-cancel, di ba? So, ang gagawin ko, yung AM, lalagay ko na siya sa right, plus, factor ko yung D. Uh, N minus M times D. Kakahon ko yan kasi napakaganda ng formula na yan. It relates two terms of your arithmetic sequence. Okay, mapapadali yung buhay natin gamit itong formula ng ito. Hawig siya nito, di ba? Except yung 1 naging M. Yun lang yun. So, kaya pinapa-observe ko sa inyo kanina yung subscript. So, AN equal to AM plus N minus M times D. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin magmula ngayon. Okay? So, yung AN and AM are two terms of your arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, usog natin yan kasi useful iyan. Okay, so sabi ko naman kanina, ang una nyo nga hanapin sa isang arithmetic sequence, yung common difference D. Important siya. So in this case, the 9th term is 28. So A sub 9 is 28. Mukhang G, ano ba yan? 9 yan. So A sub 9 is 28. And A sub 21 is equal to 100. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay A sub 15. Pag mahanap mo yung common difference, di tapos ang usapan. Okay, so gamitin natin itong formula ito. 
So a sub 21 is equal to a sub 9 plus this minus this. So, 21. Ang gulo ko talaga yung panulat ko. Feeling ko nawawalan siya ng tinta. Times D. So, what is A21? 100. Equal to A sub 9. What is A sub 9? Get 28. Plus, ito naman. Ah, that is 12. Times D. So, lipat natin si 28 sa left hand side. You get 72 equal to 12D. So, divide both sides by 12. So, D is equal to 6. Yan, maswerte na tayo. Meron na tayong D. So, sabi ko, pag alam mo na yung D, mahanap mo yung A15. So, yung A15 is equal to Pwede kang mamili ng kahit anong term. A-apply ulit natin ito. So, pili ka si A sub 9 or A sub 21. It doesn't matter. Sige, gawin natin A sub 9 na lang. Kung equal sa A sub 9 yan, mag a ka ng 15 minus 9 times D. Yun yung sinasabi ng formula. Okay, so 15, A sub 15, A sub 9. Dito naman sa case na to, a sub 21, a sub 9. Ang mahalaga yun nandito, 21 minus 9, 15 minus 9. So, plug in na lang natin si a sub 9. a sub 9 is 28 plus, what is I think that is 6. The common difference is 36. So, a sub 15 is 28 plus 36. Which is, I think this is 64 yes 64 okay so kung may magtatanong hala ano paano kung ang ginamit ko dito yung a sub 21 baka magkaroon ng error may mga mag negative somewhere magkakaroon talaga ng negative somewhere but you will still get the same same answer so gawin natin yon. so alternatively so if a violet ko na lang so, A sub 15, kung ginamit mo, A sub 21, sa so magiging plus ano siya, 15 minus 21, times D. But, A sub 21 is 100. What is 15 minus 21, that is negative 6, and D is 6. So, 100, and this product is negative 36, which is 64. So, you still get the same answer for A15, which is 64. So, di ba useful yung formula niyan? So, itong formula to, useful kapag binigyan ka ng two terms ng isang arithmetic sequence, mahanap mo agad si D. Hindi mo na kailangan hanapin yung first term. Our last example for this video, ito common na common to. So, lagi ko itong na-encounter nung high school ako. At lagi ko siya nakikita parang sa kahit anong libro na may sequences and series. So, arali natin ito. Sulat natin solution. So, ganyan kayo pa nagsusulat ng solution na So, lagay nyo solution para alam nung nag-check or ng teacher na nagsusulat na kayo ng solution. So, ito. Find the sum of all integer multiples of 8 between 9 and 199. So, yung multiples ni 8 are yung 8, 16, 24, 32. Okay? So, kung nasa pagitan ka ni 8 and 199, so, the smallest of such um, multiples is 16. Yung pinakauna mo, 16. Kasi dapat uh, between 9 and 199. So, lampas sa 199. So, yung pinakauna is 16. Tapos, susunod, 24... And then you have 32, 40, etc. Tapos ang tanong, ano yung largest multiple ni 8 na less than 199? So ang gagawin nyo, abilang-bilang ka lang ng 8 dyan. Tapos somewhere along the road, andun si 160. Tapos pag nag-add ka ng 32, multiple pa rin 8 yun. Tapos add ka ulit ng 8, magiging 200 na. Kaso sa 200, lumampas na siya sa 199. Kaya... 
hanggang 192 ka na lang. So, bali, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay 16 plus 24 plus 32 up to uh, 160 tapos may mga something something pa up to 192 ok so ano ba yung panghanap natin ng sum let's say this is our a sub 1 yung dulo is a sub n so yung panghanap natin ng sum is a1 plus a n times n over 2 diba so libre na yung a1 which is 16 Our A sub N is 192. So, libre yung A1, libre yung AN. Ang hindi libre dyan, yung M. Yung N. Gagamitin natin yung formula na AN equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times B to find, to find N. At ang common difference natin in this case is, ano yung ina-add mo to get the next number? So, 16 to 24, 24 to 32, nag-add ka lang ng 8. So, our common difference is 8. Gamitin natin ito. So, 192 is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times. Our D is 8. So, lipat sa kabila. So, what is 192 minus... Uh, 16. So, 182 minus 6, 170. I think it's 176. Tama ba yun? 12. Okay, tama. And then, divide both sides by 8. Get N minus 1. What is 176 over? Ang mahina talaga ako sa, ano, sa arithmetic. Kailangan na ata akong ibalik sa ano. sa grade 3. So, 22 raw. So, lipat sa kabila si negative 1. Magiging plus siya. So, n is equal to 23. So, yung hinahanap natin, na itago natin sa pangalang star, is now equal to n over 2. Your n is 23. A1 plus a n a1 is 16 plus 192 so 23 over 2 what is 16 plus 192 202 i think it's 208 and uh, ito yung madaling i-divide by 2 no so 23 times 104 and then let us multiply this ano yan uh 23 times 104, 12, 1, 3, 8, 0, 2, 2, 9, 3. So, it's 2, 3. It's 2, 3, 92. And we can actually check using a calculator na tama yung sum natin. So, paano ko ipapasok sa calculator ito? So, basically, a summation lang yan ng ano. Parang ito, 8 times 2, 8 times 3, 8 times 4, up to 8 times uh, 22. O 8 times 23. What is 8 times 23? This is 24, 2, 16, 24, 2, 16, 184, 23, uh, 24 times 8 pala. 32, 3, 8, 1. Okay. So, para 8 times i, i from 2 hanggang 24. So, yan yung sum na yan. So, pag in-expand mo itong sum, you will get this one. So, anong lalabas doon? Ano yung susulat natin? 8x X lang yung meron dito kasi sa calcio ko. X from 2 to 24. Yes, we get 2, 3, 92. And yes, that ends our 
lecture on ano ba ni lesson natin? Charot. So, arithmetic means and examples on sequences in series. So, sana marami kayong napulot sa lesson na ito. So, importanteng importante ito kasi solve examples siya. So, pinapakita kong paano i-solve sa inyo. So, kung meron pa kayong uh, suggestions and comments, pwede nyo akong i-message sa aking personal Twitter account at Voodoo Matrix. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe sa ating channel. So, yun lang. Goodbye. Kita-kits ulit sa susunod. Take care.